Hey there, here to talk about some new capabilities for Microsoft Teams Rooms on Windows, and that is generating a one-time password for your installer to use to actually sign into the room and get it ready for action. So you can see I've got a little tile down here. Uh, as of the 5th of December, a new capability was added to the Pro Manager Portal, which is, uh, is what I'm in, to add uh, capability of setting up one-time passwords. You'll need uh, MTR on Windows version 4.19. 4 4.19.57 is the latest version. So as long as you've got that and you've got the Pro License and the Pro Manager Portal, you'll have the ability to set up one-time passwords. So why do you need a one-time password? So for instance, if you have a third party company setting up installing your Microsoft Teams rooms, maybe you don't want to give them a list of usernames and passwords for your Teams rooms to sign in and start using them. Maybe it's a better idea to just generate an OTP, a, a long code, 16 digit code for them to use to actually provision the account on the actual room. They don't need to know the passwords for those accounts to actually sign in and get commissioning testing and making sure that you're ready to rock and roll with your rooms. So next step, what you wanna do is go to resource accounts. You can see I've got a number of resource accounts here and the account that I want to use is down here, fifth floor meeting room. So you can see here, I've got no action needed. Sometimes you'll actually have something for needs action. So this is an account I set up yesterday. It's actually for a desk. So if I go in and, and have a look and I go to the OTP tab, you can see the account is not ready to generate one-time passwords. Go to the account configuration tab and ensure all the settings are correct for OTP generation. So if I go here, the one thing that has the yellow triangle is set the password for never expire. So I use the actual account wizard to create this account. And one thing it didn't do was set the password for never expire. So Microsoft, if you are watching, and hopefully you are, uh, you'll know that the wizard doesn't actually do uh, one of the very recommended uh, uh, settings for a Teams Rooms account, which is setting the password never to expire. So for this account, if I wanted to use uh, this for OTP, I'd have to go into PowerShell, set the, the password to never expire on the account, uh, refresh, wait a few minutes, and then come back and it should say it's okay. All right, so for this one, everything is set correctly. So I can get, go ahead and get on. All right, so before we set up an OTP, I'm going to uh, go through a couple of preferences. So one is the OTP expiry. You can set this from two hours, 24 hours, if you've got some stuff going on for a day. Uh, if you've got a few days worth of uh, uh, configuration going, you can uh, set it to expire a bit longer. I've got it set for custom. And if I go into the custom field, you can see I can set this between one and 336 hours. 336 hours, if you didn't know, is 14 days. So if you've got a lot of activity, a lot of rooms being set up over the next two weeks, then maybe you want that OTP to expire a bit longer. Me, I'm just gonna set this to two hours for now. The other thing I'm gonna set is auto approval. So if I didn't click auto approval and turn that on, what would happen is uh, when I use that OTP as the installer, um, the admin in the Teams Pro Manager portal would get an OTP request. Um, and I would have to go in as an admin and actually approve that. Uh, I don't want to do that. I want to just trust that the installer is using the, uh, the accounts and actually using the OTPs, setting up everything correctly the first time. So I'm just going to press auto approve and then press save. So now the preferences have saved. So now I can go to generate OTP. I can select the account. I can press next, auto generate. And see it's selected. Now I can press generate. Right, takes only a second to actually generate. So now I can choose to download a CSV with or without the passwords. So I'm gonna generate this with the password. So just in case I want to get out that password and re-sign into the MTR later on, for instance, or set up to assign into a different MTR, um, I can go ahead and do that. It's gonna download with passwords going to open the file so I can actually get at that OTP. All right, so if I bring that over, you can see I've got the OTP there. That's the account, uh, the password, which I've got blurred out so you can't see it and try and log in. And of course, I've got the expiry, which I set for uh, a couple of hours from now. I'm going to move that to the side and then press done. 
Right, as you can see, the account uh, provisioning status is OTP generated. So if I go into there and press OTP, I can get at the OTP uh, password right here as well. So I don't need the actual CSV to get the OTP. I've only got the CSV to get at the password uh, so I can actually log in later on. So if I need to know the OTP, I can go back in here. Next up, so this is what it looks like in the room. If I've got the latest version installed, I just press get started. I read, of course, the EULA. I press accept, and then I put in the OTP. Right, so I've got that in. I think it's correct. Let's just check. Yeah, I press continue. If I didn't want to use an OTP, I can go to manual setup, use the username, password, and log in in the traditional way. But since I've got the OTP, so it comes up briefly and says that your admin is going to approve. Obviously, that's gone off and done the auto approve uh, process in the background. Hopefully, after a couple of seconds or so, it will automatically log this device in. There we go. So now it's actually logged in and ready to rock after only a couple of seconds. Now, if I go back to the PMP and then I'm just going to press refresh, OTP is consumed. So you can see consume date and time. So you know exactly when the uh, room was logged in and it's ready to go. No more action is needed. Everything's good. And that's it. That's the whole shebang when it comes to one-time passwords of course if you go back to the home tab and you've got this uh thing here you've got some links so the first one create one-time passwords opens up the create one-time passwords uh pdf which is all about how you actually do this in the pro management portal um it's just as easy as i uh, as i said a second ago go back here the other link it opens up the, another pdf is about actually how you use that one-time password to sign into the room account and that's it thanks for watching if this has been useful please go ahead and like and subscribe i'd appreciate it immensely and i'll see you in the next video